Hey, grown folks, Donna Smith, a.k.a. Lady D. We're going to talk about some grown stuff up in here. Let's talk about sex. Yeah, you know, that's a hot topic. Um, I try not to always go there, but I'm naughty. And every now and again, I like to be naughty. Er. <laughs> so I just go there. I speak my mind and I go there. So let's talk about sex. What about it? Y'all tell me. What about sex? You know, some say that sex is so overrated. We talk about it all the time. People want to do it all the time. But everybody wants it and need it. And when we talk about sex, you know, I think what I'm really getting to is I'm getting to love making and sex. Let's, let's just lay it down like that. First of all, sex and love making is two different things. Let's start with that. Some will say that sex is any time you just lay down and penetrate or get penetrated and build blind and mix with somebody in a fleshly way. That's, that's straight out sex. And then some will say that making love is, is, is more intimate, is more involved, is more engaged, is feelings behind it. You love that person. So you want to make love to their body and to their mind. But when you're just having sex with someone, it could be someone that you just met that night out and uh, your fleshly desires took over and you went to bed with them. But on the flip side of that, some will call that mm -mm 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 -mm. You know, that, that F word, I'm not going to say it in video, but that F word, people will call that that when you just do that spur of the moment type of thing, you know. So what's the difference? What's the difference between the three? You're making love, you're having sex, or you doing the F word? Are they all entwined into one, you know? Is there a difference? Do you have to have different uh, feelings for a person to do one or the other? Because you can do the F word, and I've heard people say, I went home last night and f the mm out of my wife. I gave it to her like she ain't had it in a minute. We went real freaky wild, street wise, flipped her around, turned her around, and then we was on the floor. Then we went into the laundry room. Then we ended up going into the kitchen on that brand new dining room table to bring it in. And they say that they did the F word. Now, I don't know. Would you call that the F word? Or would you call that sex? Or would you call that just freaky love making? Because, see, they all can be tied into one, maybe. I'm trying to get y'all to school me. Because, see, I'm bringing the message. But I want to know what you feeling about that. What's the difference? Have you effed somebody? Have you made love to somebody? And have you sexed somebody all in the same session? Is that possible? Or do you just sex somebody that you just absolutely don't give a doggone about it? It's just getting yours. Boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. And that's it. No extra. No intimacy. No oral pleasuring. Because, you know, oral pleasuring is not something that you do with just sexing, right? I mean, don't you have to be making love to do that? Or... That's another topic of discussion. Is that something that some just do all the time? Anytime they get aroused, let me just stick you in my mouth. I mean, really. So, think about it. Just think about it. What is the difference? Sex, love making, or effing. What's the difference between the three? And which do you prefer the best, the most? You know, which one do you like to get down with? Which one are you best with your moves and your freakiness with? All of them? One of them? Or just two of them? As a grown folks, I know 
one of y'all out there got something to say about this because I want to be educated today. I want y'all to educate Lady D and let me know because I don't really know what's happening with this one. Hmm. But I'm waiting for y'all to let me know. Hit me right now. Ready, set, go. <laughs> 